What is going on investors? My name is Emmanuel and we had some great news over the weekend. The Senate approved Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus legislation and it seems like the market is actually responding very well to this. I mean, on first impressions, yes, we do have some red within tech. Technology is still being hit hard. Communications is being hit hard. But healthcare, entertainment, telecom, financial services... They're all doing really well right now. The consumer cyclicals, Tesla's down 2.4%. The whole EV industry is still taking a hit right now. But you can see restaurants, footwear, energy, utilities, basic commercials, industrials, they're all doing really well. And they've responded really well to the news of the 1.9 trillion stimulus. And I also want to say as much as it's great for the markets, it's also great for those people who actually need the stimulus help. So congratulations to every single one of you. So things are really starting to look up. So for this video, I'll share with you the three top stocks to buy on a potential market recovery. We don't know yet. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but things are starting to look positive. And here are the three stocks that I've bought recently that I think will do well on the recovery. But before we dive into all of that, if you wanna keep up to date with all the stocks that I am buying and selling in real time, then you need to join my Discord group. The Patreon link is in the description below, so make sure you check us out. If you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. So with that said, let's dive into it. So first up, we have Advanced micro devices ticker symbol is amd and this company did take a beating of course it's in the tech space which has been hit hard over the last few weeks amd right now is currently down 23 call it 24 maybe 25 percent but it has pulled back quite significantly off its 52 week highs and the stock has pulled back to a key significant multi-month support level at 75 dollars and 25 cents so if this support level does hold which I think it could hold and if it does recover then essentially you're looking at about a 30% move to the upside to its previous 52 week high which is not too bad however if this key support level doesn't hold then you are looking at another 18% decline to the next multi-month support level which presents another buying opportunity for AMD now the reason why I am so bullish on this company technicals aside this company reported an incredible insane q4 recently but have investors cared about that <laughs> absolutely not judging by the sell-off but let's look at the numbers let's look at the numbers so looking at the revenue so this is top line growth right they reported 2.1 billion in top line growth in q4 2020 they reported 3.2 billion in top line growth which represented a 53% year on year growth which is just insane and if you're looking at it from a quarter to quarter perspective in Q3, they reported 2.8 billion. Again, Q4, they reported 3.2 billion. And that represents a 16% growth in just one quarter. I mean, this is incredible. If you look at their gross profit, again, year on year, they're looking at 50, they're up 53%. And looking at it from a quarter perspective, they're up 18%. But here's the kicker, investors. Here's the kicker. Look at their net income, okay? So for, 20, for Q4 2019, they reported 170 million in net income. Fast forward to Q4 2020, and these guys reported 1.7 billion in net income, which is up 948%. I don't think I've ever seen any company, any blue chip company to report this type of year on year growth before. I don't think I've ever seen it before. I mean, if there is a company that has done that, please name that company in the comment section below because I would love to see it because this is absolutely phenomenal numbers. I was absolutely blown away by their income statement, but it's not just that. Let's take a look at their balance sheet. Investors, these guys near enough have no debt, okay? So they have 2.29 billion in cash and their total debt is a measly 572 million. So they could quite easily clear off their debt if they wanted to. And that's just something you want to see in any long-term business that you're investing in. The current ratio is sitting at 2.54. And for me, typically I like current ratios above one because that's an indicator that the total current assets exceed the total current liabilities. And even their cash flow statement, they're sitting at over 1 billion in operating cash flow with leverage free cash flow, the trailing 12 months that is, that's a TTM, is sitting at $432 million. Looking at their profitability as a whole, they have a profit margin of 25% and an operating margin of 14%. So essentially that means for every $100 that the company makes, 
$14 of that is kept as earnings, which is phenomenal. And they also have a really good PE ratio. Their current trailing PE ratio is sitting at 36. Now, if you want to compare it to AMD's main competitor, who I think is NVIDIA, NVIDIA's trading PE is sitting at 67. So it is trading much richer than AMD. So you have to consider that when you're looking at AMD versus NVIDIA. So AMD, I think right now, presents a great buying opportunity. It is at key multi-month support level, but please bear in mind, investors, it is at key support level and that could break. And like I said, if it does break, the next support level that I see is 18% on the downside. So if you are interested, be very careful. Don't go all in at once and just be conservative with your entries. But AMD is the first stock on my list. So next up, we have Nano Dimensions. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said in my live stream last time, Nano Dimensions has not been going to the moon recently. Nano Dimensions has been going to the grave, okay? It's pulled back quite significantly. We're looking at a pullback of over 50%. Nano Dimensions got completely destroyed over the last two weeks, but I do believe this presents a significant buying opportunity because yet again, we are currently at multi-month support level. And I do want to make it clear if we do break this support level, we are looking at another downside of 25%. However, if this support level holds quite strong and we continue back to the upside, in particular going back to our 52-week high, then you're looking at 115% return on your money in a company that I believe to be truly remarkable. And if you've been subscribed to this channel for the last couple of months, you would know I'm very bullish on this company. Now, one of the reasons why it's also on my list for this video is because Kathy Woods recently came out and she shared her thoughts on Nano Dimensions. So here's what she said, and this is why Kathy Woods is very bullish on Nano Dimensions. So she said, originally, it used to call itself a 3D printed circuit board company. Now, Nano Dimensions has broadened the view of itself into a 3D printed technology company. She said, one of the most important things about the Nano Dimensions story is their contracts, is their contracts that they are winning from the defense agency. We always look for where the defense is putting their money, says Kath says Kathy Woods. And this statement is very true because they recently added 1.9 million shares of Palantir, who we all know the large part of Palantir's revenue comes from the government. But when Kathy Woods says that she looks for companies where defense are putting their money, Nano Dimensions fits that category perfectly. And like I've already identified from a technical point of view, we are at a key buying level right now. Again, none of this is financial advice, but I do think if you've ever thought about getting into Nano Dimensions, now seems to be the time at this key support level. And again, don't go all in, don't go too heavy. You can add, if we do break the support, then you've got another buying opportunity at $5.90. So Nano Dimensions is my second pick. Now, my third pick I need you to, to take a seat, take a breather, sit down, all right? Get your cup of tea because <laughs> it might shock you. However, if you've been a subscriber of my channel, it may not shock you. But this company is called DSG Global. Ticker symbol is DSGT. Now, this company just recently announced that they've just sold their first three containers of its new electric T01 model vehicle. Now, look, I'll be the first to say this car this car isn't the best looking, all right? It's not the best looking at all, but sales are sales. And most of you already know Tattooed Chef is my favorite company. They are my largest holding. But do I eat plant-based meat or plant-based food? No, I love my meat, all right? I'm not gonna lie, I love my meat. However, I am following the facts. And that's why I have it written here, follow the facts. And the fact is, DSGT, we received delivery of these vehicles towards the end of September towards the end of December and we're already sold out, which will generate this company more revenue to proceed to order our Skywell SUVs, which when you look at the SUV, that ain't looking too bad, is it? So, <laughs> but besides that, the company also recently reported their 10K and this was really what made me even more bullish on this company. We absolutely strengthened our balance sheet, no doubt about it. Look at our current cash position, okay? so. As of December 31st, 2019, we, we were sitting on $25,000 in cash. Fast forward to December 31st, 2020, we're sitting on $1.3 million in cash. 
Moving on further down the line, if you look at our total current assets, as of the 31st of December 2019, we had $250,000 worth of total current of total current assets. Fast forward to December 31st, 2020, we're sitting on $1.7 million worth of total current assets versus our total current liabilities. Looking back to 2019, we had $8.6 million worth of total current assets liabilities and if you look at our total current liabilities as of the 31st of december just last year it's significantly reduced to 2.5 million dollars this is a company that is improving their balance sheet yes dsgt is a penny stock however one of the things you need to look for in a penny stock to make sure this company isn't going bankrupt are their total current assets and their total current liabilities because that indicates to us that the company can pretty much pay their bills for the next 12 months. And although our total current assets do not exceed our total current liabilities right now, it's a massive improvement from 2019, where we only had 250,000 to 8.6 million, and that's been reduced to 2.5 million to 1.7 million. Plus, the company is currently trading at an insane discount right now. Looking at the share price, as you can see, it's been battered. Again, another company that, <laughs> that felt the brunt of the bear market recently. Off its highs, the company is down 65%, okay? And we are now currently, again, at a key multi-month support level. And if we do bounce off this support level, then the upside when we eventually do return to our 52 week high, you're looking at a return of 200%, which is absolutely insane. So definitely if you haven't seen DSGT before, or this is your first time hearing of the company, it's worth checking out. And I have done many videos on this company before. So, so I will link some videos in the description below just to help you out with your DD. You need to pay attention to this company, DSGT, you heard it here first. So these are the three companies that I recommend you have on your watch list. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below what stocks you are looking at if this is the recovery from the bear market. But with all of that said, remember, none of this is financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and your own analysis before you decide to invest in any stock or in any company. If you do want to learn about investing in stocks, there are some useful links in the description below. But with all that said, don't forget to join my Discord group. The link is in the description below. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.